Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking to you about my hamster. So clearly Ani's not here. It's going to be another one of those videos where it's just me. But anyways, sorry about my bun. This is what I slept with. And I'm wearing my pajamas right now. But anyway, it's a lazy day today. But um, so today I'm going to be talking about how I kind of tamed. Oh my gosh. So this little guy is over here. He just went on top of his tunnel, and I thought he was going to jump out. Anyways, um, I'm going to be talking about how um, I got him to start trusting me and how I started trusting him and basically what I did. And for people that have never owned hamsters or rodents, you're probably so confused. I'll explain later on. Or just go watch a different, like, taming hamster video, and you'll get the point. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to be showing you what I had to do in order for him to, like, take food for me and things like that. So let's get straight into the video. Okay guys, so this is my dwarf hamster. Um, his name is Taco and yeah, I just realized you guys haven't met him yet so I just wanted to show you him before we start the video. Okay, so step one for taming. Oh my goodness, he just... Oh, by the way, he is going to run in that a lot, so sorry if the noise annoys you. But anyways, um, step one is put in the toys that your hamster loves to play with so that they're not stressed. Okay, guys, so the second step is treats. This step is very important because if your hamster does not like their treats, they will not take them from you. All you have to do is just grab their favorites. Luckily, my guy loves sunflower seeds. They're not even supposed to be treats, but they're super good for him, and he takes them as treats, so that's awesome. Just because my hamster likes things from his daily food mix, I also obviously have hamster treats here, just in case he would rather have a treat than um, a sunflower seed. But these are a bit higher in fat, but obviously I don't give them to him all the time, so yeah. Okay, so the first step is to put it between your, oh my goodness, to put it between your thumb and your pointer finger. Oh, he really wants it. And you're just going to set it um, down, hold it in the same exact spot, and they should come for it. It might take a little bit longer because I've had my hamster for about a month now, um, so he's more used to me than yours might be. But yeah, you want to keep repeating that step until your hamster, hamster is comfortable taking it from your hand. Okay, so this next step that you're about to see is pretty extreme, so you're going to have to nail the first thing I showed you where you hold the treat um, in the cage way before you do this step because this step you're going to set it in your hand and set it down and he's going to have to step in your hand in order to take the treat. So I picked some of his favorites and now what you're going to do is just set it down, set your hand flat in the cage and just let him step on it. That's basically the main purpose. They're supposed to step onto your hand. He didn't fully step onto it, but that's still um, a start for him to go onto your hand, basically. And remember to always pet your hamster after you give them a treat so that they know, um, since you gave them the treat, that they will allow you to pet them. Okay, so the next step would actually be to continuously put treats in your hand and keep lifting it a bit and he has to step into your hand to take them but um sometimes he'll be too scared but that's basically you're gonna get the hang of holding him and him being able to just step in your hand to pick him up all right so i have the treats but they're like raised now all right well that was a start he might not be hungry, but he still kind of stepped on my hand, and now he's sandbathing. Oh, there he is. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you guys want to see more hamster videos, let us know down below. And also, some of the clips from this video were filmed the next day, so that's why I'm wearing a different outfit. And, yeah. Okay. And that's basically all I have to say. You want to say bye, Taco? Say bye-bye. 
Oh my goodness, he just tried to bite my phone. All right, bye guys.